I thought I thought Porto paid us a, a big compliment in terms of how they set up in their formation um, and the personnel that they picked, but I think it caused us some problems in the first 20, 30 minutes. I thought they had a lot of quick movement and um, the system that they played caused us a few problems and rattled us a bit. Um, but I think once we come to terms with that, after probably about 30 minutes, I thought we grew into the game and um, finished the game in a, in a fantastic place. The second half performance was very strong and um, we've beat a good team tonight and we've beat them comfortable. That first goal was quite something, wasn't it? The ball crossing and the, the touch and finish. Yeah, I, I loved the play before it, Tav being positive, sliding and, and getting the ball to Jacko when he was probably second best, second favourite. Um, and I love the way Jacko didn't just try and put a cross in early. Um, I like the way he showed composure and pulled it back, but the touch and the finish is stunning. Um, and that's the reason why we, we talk about him every two, three days. Stephen, in terms of this coach you've achieved this manager, do you will is that one, Rick? I think right up there with the best. Um, you know, I'm sure people will try and find out, find problems with Porto and the reason why they're not what he was and blah 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 but they're a good team they've got good players so I think my players deserve um, a lot of credit over the two games uh, we've dominated three halves um, and even the first half for 20-25 minutes we, we found it difficult to keep the ball and to work Porto out but once we did again we dominated this opposition so um, fantastic performance from the players uh, over both games and um the minimum we deserve is four points out of six, minimum. Um, and it puts us in a good place in, in the group, but there's still a lot of work to do, two tough games to go. Yeah, I know, I went in Rotterdam against Feyenoord, and take, we'll take you through it. Yeah, and it's a, it's a fantastic carrot for us. Um, it'll be really tough, you know, they've got a new manager now. I'm sure there'll be a bounce from that and there'll be a massive improvement. Um, for me now, right now, sitting in here, it's not my main concern or focus. Um, we'll deal and um, concern ourselves with final when the time's right and we'll we'll have a game plan, we'll work on it, we'll make sure the players are very prepared for a very tough away game. Um, but we'll certainly go there with confidence and belief. My main priority right now is to shift attention to Livingston. We need to recover tomorrow and then get ourselves ready for a different type of game away at Livingston. Stephen, can I ask two, two questions? Um, the first one, obviously, about um, Alfredo. In terms of superlatives, are you running out of them for him because he's finished and also he's assist? Um, and secondly, defensively, you've only lost one goal now in six games here this season and just how important that's been to your ambitions as well. Yeah, I think we, we've got a real good organisation about us at the moment. The players are, are really buying into how we needed to look out of possession in terms of being together and working so hard and doing the ugly side of the game. It's so important, especially against top-level opposition. Um, Alfredo will never run out of things to say because he keeps providing moments and performances like tonight. And um, players like that who keep providing moments and game-changing moments deserve to be applauded and appraised and um, I'll, I'll never get bored of talking about Alfredo because um, he, he's a top fo footballer I'm, I'm really can't describe how much I'm enjoying working with him um, and um, he, he's in a fantastic place and long may I continue uh, I got him off the pitch at the end just just in case because um, we obviously know he's, he's carrying the, the two yellow cards so um, that was important as well, that we made sure he was available uh, for final as well. I know you've spoken about Alfredo quite a lot, but do you think every successful team sort of needs that talisman, that figure for the fun? Yeah, I think more often than not, uh, all good sides have that person um, who, who is the talisman, who, who provides the moments. Um, you know. You look across the across the board around Europe. Everyone's got one. Some some teams are lucky to have uh, three or four. Um, but yeah, I mean he's he's in fantastic form. Um, he, he deserves his call up to the Colombia squad, and um, he's a massive massive at asset to this club. Um, so everything's good. Everything's good. <laughs>